What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you this 2023 Arctic Fox 28F and yes, those are opposing slides in a travel trailer. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so as you can see walking in here from the door, you hang a right and you go in straight into your bedroom. You see you have nice frameless big windows here to look out of on either side. You also have really good sized storage over here with a hanger holder, a hanger rack, whatever you want to call it. Here's another little piece of storage. This storage up here above the headboard, it's a little less deep than others, but still yet you do have that storage option as well. And it goes all the way through. There's no divider in it. Got two nice lights up here with storage there for, I don't know, books or, or TV remotes or phones, but you do have a 120 volt outlet at both sides of the bed, along with the USB charging cable. Another shot of that big window. You have a fantastic fan here above your bed. You've got the bedroom light. You also have the awning light and a cap light. So I like this because if you hear something in the middle of the night and you think that, oh, my chairs are, they've, got, they've grown legs and they're walking away, you know, a neighbor like them better than you, uh, you can always hit that cap light right there and then look straight out this window without having to get up and find the uh, control center. Coming back around, so this TV does pivot. So now with that turned around, you can see that the mirror is inside the living area, and then you have the TV to watch in the bedroom area. Coming around on this side over here too. Let's see, go through this storage over here. Again, oh, there's your pillows and a throw blanket that is included. Good storage though. Here is a, this is really cool. This goes down through your to your pass-through. You can put a laundry basket right there. It actually comes with a laundry basket. I'll show you that, uh, spoiler alert. So you have this drawer here beside your bed. Nice shelf there for maybe a CPAP because you have 120 volt over there. We'll take a look once more over here. All right, coming into the living area. Got this really big island here in the middle. Now, islands and travel trailers, eh, they're not really my favorite. But with this one having the opposing slides, so you have a slide out over here on this side, you have a slide out over here on this side, it really makes for a nice big open area. And it's doable. You can walk around. It's not cramped or anything. So I really like that. You do have the recliners, and these are not power folding recliners, which that's okay because it's less things to break. Motor motors go out and you have to replace parts. With this, you just have a pull, pull string. I call it the rip cord. Bit of storage up here above your couch. Another thing I like about Arctic Fox, coming on the slide over here, you can see they have this cushion piece. So this cushion piece helps seal up that opening and you have less of a draft. So I do like that. Can you have the two inch thick walls, the custom frame with this one and the five inch radius roof as well. Little accents like that and two reading lamps underneath. Pretty good size table. It does have a extra leaf here underneath that comes out and flops up. So you can have a pretty good size amount of food, you know, at the table. And look at the windows. I do like all the windows that are in this one. Fireplace down here below your mirror TV as well. And that is electric. You've got your Jensen command center and it's a radio. See, and here is your tank. Tank depths, how full they are. Here's your entry light, porch light, water pump. So that's good. You also have a gas and 110 volt on your water heater. So you have a 10 gallon water heater. These are both good because you can either or or both. So if you need to hurry up and get some hot water and you have full hookups and you're not paying for electricity, you can turn on your propane and your 110 volt at the same time and that way it'll heat up quicker as opposed to just being on the electric or the gas. There's your living room, dining room, and your, your awning. All right, let's go over here. Let's go to the bathroom. Here's your solar charge controller. You do have one 45 watt panel on the roof, but there is room to expand up there as well. Really good bathroom. Now I love the storage in this bathroom. It is surprising. It's very surprising on how big the storage is for everything in here. So you do have a corner shower. Some people don't like the corner shower. Some people prefer the corner showers. This is an actually pretty good size uh, corner shower. So, 
and plenty of room with a skylight above it. Here's some of that giant storage that's in here and you do have a hanger option too. Maybe your winter coats or, or something a little bit more bulky or something that you don't use as much. Drawer here in the bathroom as well. Turning over here, you can see you have a pretty good size sink. Also a nice metal sink, fixture, medicine cabinet, pretty good size medicine cabinet. Here is this storage. I really like this storage. So universal for whatever you want to use it for. I don't have my tape measure on me, but I would say that this is a good, that's a little over two feet deep. So that's really nice to have in the bathroom. Max air fan controller. Again, a porcelain foot flush toilet and a toilet paper roll holder. Yes, you know, I like that. That's some of the things that, that these manufacturers don't include like toilet paper roll holders. It's just, I don't know. Fascinates me when I do see the one. I know it's weird to get excited about, but storage here as you come out of the bathroom, top to bottom. Again, you'll see little things like this and these are solid wood fronts. So they do use some of the more knotty look, knotty pine look. Makes it feel a little bit more rustic. Pretty good size pantry space. And this one does come with the digital wireless observation camera. So it's not just a backup camera, it is an actual observation camera. What's the difference? One of them only works when you're backing into a site. The other one, this observation camera, works while you're driving down the road. Got a propane refrigerator. Freezer. This island is really nice too. Cool feature. What is this? Oh, it's a trash can spot. So that goes straight into your trash can under there. You can just sweep everything off that, you know, the counter and everything else that's, that's there. All right. A double sink. This one's a little bit heavier. Spray faucet and here is that trash can again like the toilet paper roll holder not many manufacturers actually inclu include trash cans and here is one with the cool access point there really like that all right more of your storage underneath your sink and on this side as well extra battery cables there good place to store them <laughs> cabinet next to the microwave this is a convection microwave I do like that three burner cooktop with a knife holder space here in the back pretty good size backsplash is it a turkey oven eh, if it's a small one all these drawers as well oh look get another utensil tray with this one uh, and an extra 9 volt battery. Oh my gosh. All right. More drawers, drawers, drawers. Here's a cool thing that's not just a fake door front, it's actually a drawer. I like that as well. Okay, I think that pretty much covers everything in the basics in this. You do have a 15K upgraded air conditioner, so it's not a 13.5 AC, and that is ducted as well. So let's take one more look around. All right, starting on the outside of this 28F Arctic Fox. Again, the stock number on this one is 1907. You have the dump steps, so you don't have to sweep those off when you fold them into the, uh, the RV. They don't dump all those rocks in there. You've got a nice big awning out here with an exterior light. You've got a speaker here. You can get a shot of those frameless windows as well. Okay, here's your pass-through storage. Also here is the numbers on this unit. So you've got a hitch weight of 685, unloaded vehicle weight of 8,365 pounds, a net cargo carrying capacity of 2,635 pounds, along with a total overall weight, fully loaded GVWR of 11,000 pounds. Here's another cool feature. This thing actually has auto level on it. So it's a push button. Yeah, now you have to be close to level for this thing to work, but yeah, just push the button and you go go straight to level. All right. Stepping to the back here, you can see the uh, the refrigerator access vents along with another frameless window. You do have 16-inch Goodyear tires on this. 
as well as shocks on all four corners of the axle. So you can see the shock over there, the shock over there, the, the black shock that goes up to the frame from the axle. So again, you have them on all four corners. There's another shot of that auto level, part of that auto level system. You do have a 10 gallon water heater. Again, it is gas and electric. And look at the storage space that's out here. And these shelves do move on this side. So you can take all these shelves out and have a big open space here, if you so choose. Oh, my ride's here, I gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. Here is the propane quick connect, and you can see it's actually plumbed. So that's hard pipe. That's not just flexible hose that's run around everywhere. Got a nice diamond plate chrome rear bumper with a 250 pound rated hitch, receiver hitch back here. And there is our 1-800 number. You've got LED lights all the way around. Let's run up and take a look. Oh, there's the, uh, the observation camera that's included. All right, let's take a look on the roof. All right, coming up here on the roof, you can see you've got a max air fan, the upgraded style. You do have that 45 watt solar panel and that 40 or that uh, 15K air conditioner up there and a nice big skylight as well. You do have a slide topper on the large slide. They, do, they don't put a, a slide topper on this one for two reasons, because it's small and it's covered underneath the main awning. And two, there's no real place to drill and put that into the wall without it bumping into that awning. So definitely nice to have the uh, one large slide topper over here. Again, with this ladder, it is actually screwed into two by fours, so it will not fall out on you. Well, I mean, it still has the possibility to, but you gotta really work hard at it. Coming around, you've got an outdoor shower here. You've got a nice light for when you're doing, taking care of the business, because the business is right here. That being the black tank and gray tank hookup. Here is your power cord. It has its own nice little cubby. Two here is your furnace vent. 100, well, that's not 120 volt. It's your satellite plug and your cable plug. see the slide topper up here on the top you can see the frameless windows on this side it's a little dirty dirty we need to rewash it and there too you can see the another uh, one of the legs of the auto level here's another look underneath here and you can see those shocks again on those Goodyear tires Here are some more numbers on this one, in case you're wondering. So again, 11,000 GVWR. And this is a 28F. The stock number on this one is 1907. Well, that wraps it up. You've seen the inside, you've seen the outside. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this unit. Are there some things that you do like, but you don't like, or do you just not like it at all? Let me know, let's have a conversation. Also, if you think I'm going in the right direction or if I'm doing okay, please feel free to give me a like. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe, just a simple like, it's a click, it's free. And I think, like I said, that'll do it for this video. Um, again, my phone number is right here. If you want to talk about this one, this is stock number 1907 or any other units that we have on our lot, please feel free to give me a call and we can discuss further. Um, until next time, safe travels, everyone.